So once a month, I believe, we have a ministry spotlight. And so I'd like to call up uh, our, par our vice president of the parish council, Victoria Perryman, to introduce our two speakers today, our two uh, ministries today. So Victoria, in the meantime, while she's coming up here, is there a Michael Katsik here? Michael Katsik, are you here? There you go. Uh, let's see here. Connie, you see, uh, where are you, Michael? Okay, well, come on over yourself here. There you go. I'm sorry to embarrass you. Okay, where are you from? Great, it's so nice to have you. Okay. All right, Victoria. Good morning, everybody. Um, Frances asked me to speak today um, since she was unable to be here. And really, it's just uh, on a monthly basis, we are highlighting our ministries, having one or two ministries come and talk to the church in an effort just to share what their ministry does and hopefully recruit you to consider joining their ministry. Um, after church, there will be, we have two ministries today, the AV Broadcast Ministry and the Welcome Ministry. And there will be two tables set up right when you enter the door in the hall that you can speak with members of those ministries and possibly sign up to get more information about them. Um, so first, we're going to have the AV Broadcast Ministry present. We were so blessed to have them during the pandemic when a lot of us couldn't make it into the church. And even now, they are still widely watched by those unable to come, both locally and across the nation. So it is a blessing that we have this ministry here. So if Chris Knopfsinger could come present for the AV Broadcast Ministry. Uh, let's see. Good morning. Uh, I am Chris Knopfsinger. Uh, my wife is Shay. She runs the preschool and is co-chair of the Sunny School. Um, so just first off, I want to talk about the goals of the AV broadcast team. Uh, we're not trying to turn Father Paul into the next great televangelist with extreme close-ups. <laughs> uh, even though he asks us all the time if he looks like the best starship captain ever, William T. Kirk, while he's on broadcast. I'm just kidding, Picard is way, way better. Um, so, you know, like Vicki said, um, when the pandemic hit, we were very, very important. Um, it really, really was nice um, to be able to have people from across the country. Um, there was a lot of times where we would have service members that would be in Australia uh, they would be watching, um, they would let us know. Um, because, you know, no matter where you are in the world, the great thing about YouTube is you probably have it. And, you know, some other anecdotes. Um, my grandmother, before she passed, um, I know she couldn't make it in, and it was great. She would be able to watch from Winston, and we'd be able to say, hey, Max and Luke are going to be in the altar today. You can see them on the screen. And she, she loved it. Um, you know, Another thing that happened a lot during COVID, weddings, baptisms. Um, there were a lot of people that couldn't come in from other countries to see those weddings and baptisms. So the, uh, the parents, they would have us broadcast it. And there'd be people from Mexico watching whatever they could. Um, some other, another anecdote, another great one. Um, early on, when we really actually started to get some people to start watching, um, you know, I know that we all try and make it in for all of the Holy Week services when we can, but a lot of times, small kids, you can't get there for that Thursday night broadcast that, you know, goes till 10 o'clock. Um, I remember Anna Kuba texted me, and she said, you know, this is really great. I'm able to actually at least see the service when my, one of my children is sick. Um, so, you know, that's not all we do, though. Um, what's also probably the most important thing that's important is being able to hear and hear. Um, you need to be able to hear Father, you need to be able to hear the speakers, uh, you need to be able to hear the chanters, um, because that's, that's the other part of it. The sound is, is a major portion. Um, there's two different settings <laughs> for in here and on the internet, as I've learned. Um, you don't want it to be too loud in one or the other. Uh, or too quiet, obviously. Um, you know, so we, we don't have um, a lot. 
it, it may seem like it's extremely complicated when you look up there and you see that TV screen that Don's on right now with tons and tons of cameras. It does look a lot like CSI, where you have the joystick and you can zoom in and out. Uh, what I always tell people when they're doing it for the first time or if they're concerned about it, it doesn't matter. You know, just get it close. It doesn't matter. Um, if, if you don't zoom in exactly the right way or if you don't frame everybody exactly right, it'll be all right. You'll do it the next time. Um, the audio, we have, we have presets on the audio. Um, there's one preset you can click and it resets everything in case you, you know, happen to turn father way up or way down. Um, we've had, uh, Chris wanted me to mention at this point, we now have, we have about 800 subscribers on YouTube. Um, but on any given Sunday, we probably only have, say, 10 to 40 people, which is okay. You know, we don't want to have millions and millions of people watching. But those 10 to 40, they make a point to let us know how much they appreciate it. Um, some of them are people that you know that just can't make it here. Uh, some of them, um, Paul's mother in DC, um, altar coordinator Paul, his mom likes to watch him here in the altar. Um, things like that. That, that really, when you see that, it, it really just makes a good difference. You know, people feel a little bit more connected when they can't make it in here. Um, Chris wanted me also mention, we're, we're always willing to hear feedback. You know, if you have something that needs to be changed, if we're doing something you don't think we should, just happy to have you let us know. Um, so really the main goal of what I'm trying to say is we need more people. Uh, be happy to have you. Jim Riley's gonna be at the table in the back in the, in the fellowship hall. Um, and what I will say, um, probably being on the broadcast ministry is probably why I ended up doing parish council because I realized that getting in here and being here for Orthros, especially for the broadcast when you're up there, you know the service at a certain point. You know the cues, you know the hymns, you get to see the choir and how hard they work. And when I did that, I ended up being on parish council later because I realized that, you know, A, I can make it in here at eight o'clock. Uh, and, you know, you know how the flow of the service goes and it, it definitely makes you feel more a part of it. So if you like, um, like I said, Jim's gonna be in the back in the uh, fellowship hall after church and please sign up. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Um, next up, we're gonna have Jim Clemens talk for the welcome ministry. When you visit or join a new church, it's always nice to be welcomed with a smile and someone to come up and speak with you. And that's what our welcome ministry aims to do. And Jim will talk to you about it. Good morning. I'm gonna keep it a little shorter than Chris. Um, it's a hard time to follow an extremely successful uh, talk and ministry. That AV ministry is just wonderful. Uh, I like to think that the welcome ministry is right next to the parish council just as important um, because we get people as they're coming here. Uh, it's very fulfilling when after a few Sundays you see people that you greeted come back and when you say to them it's it's wonderful that you're back here and part of our community the one thing that i've heard people mention is how welcoming this community is that's that's everything that we're supposed to be uh we've been very fortunate uh what we are going to have is a, a table right next to the av ministry as you go walking into the fellowship hall we're actually going to have treats at the table to try to entice people to come and talk to us <laughs> Uh, every quarter, we're also going to have a uh, calendar quarter. We're going to have a name tag Sunday. We have so many new people that it's hard keeping track of uh, who's new and who isn't and what everybody's names are. And, and it's a nice way for everybody to learn each other's names. Additionally, we're going to have a luncheon. Um, it's going to, uh, it'll be for new people, but we'd like to have other people from other ministries getting involved. That'll be in June and then January. Uh, again, just to try to increase the fellowship. One thing that is very important is as we get new people into the parish, as we uh, get them here every week, we'd like to get them involved with some of these different ministries. 
Uh, so if you see somebody with a name tag, if you see somebody who you don't know who they are, welcome them. Uh, we were all uh, visitors at one time. As far as who's on the ministry, uh, Vicki uh, is co-chair. Elham, Vicki's mother, uh, is also on the ministry. Steve Flattery just joined this past week, so you'll be seeing him at the uh, welcome booth. Jan Aquina, where she's right back. Stand up, Jan. Wa wave to everybody. Smile and wave. Um, and then the prettiest person on our ministry is my sister, Lisa. Stand up. Lisa Clemens, smile and wave. And uh, ironically, uh, the, the last person in our ministry is Shelley Kincaid, who is at home watching during um, uh, the liturgy. So everybody wave to Shelley now. Uh, thank you. Uh, part I don't care what ministry you participate in. Pick a ministry. Become involved. There's, uh, there's so much that we could be doing in this church. There's so much that each of us can be doing here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, 